Good morning, Willowbrook. Today's devotional passage is from Isaiah chapter 42, verses 1 through 9. Now the Lord uses the prophet Isaiah to speak not only to the children of Israel, but also to the Gentiles as well. During this time, about 750 years before the birth of Christ, all of the nations of the earth had turned from God. So Isaiah warns them of all the dangers that will come their way. But he also wrote and told him of one that is coming, one that would right all the wrongs and establish righteousness and justice on earth. And as I was reading this, I couldn't help but think of our world today as compared to Isaiah's world. You just have to turn on the news to see that our world today has some major issues, wars, famines, disease, lawlessness, and violence. But God's answer to it is the same today as it was in the days of Isaiah. Behold my servant, he will bring forth justice to the earth. God, through Isaiah, gets straight to it in verse 1. God's command to his people and the overriding theme and purpose of the entire Bible is really summed up in this verse. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one. The servant here is the coming Messiah. He is the only one that can bring peace to the heart of man and peace to this world. I looked up the definition of the word behold. Webster says to look at intently, to fix your eyes and gaze, to look at, consider, and perceive. As Christians today, our life is really based around this beholding. The New Testament says we are changed as we behold the glory of the Lord, as we look at him, how he was then and who he is now, and who he is in us. Well, that is how we are actually changed. The world then and now is looking for answers, but unfortunately in all of the wrong places. Isaiah is telling us, behold my servant. Jesus was sent to serve God 100% of the time. He only did what came from the Father, what he was sent to do. He could not be distracted by praise or by fear or temptation. Isaiah says, he is the chosen one of God whom my soul delights. Verse 2 says, I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring justice to the nations. He will not cry out or raise his voice. Jesus was sent to do God's will. He didn't have to be a showman, and he never needed to draw attention to himself. Jesus gave the words that God had placed on his heart, not words that pleased the crowd. Verse 3 says, a bruised reed he will not break. As we all know, the world will leave people bruised and battered. There are problems in our lives that only Jesus can deal with. But God has sent his servant to live in and minister, to die and be raised again, so that he can come into our hearts and give us the strength and the hope and the encouragement that we need. This passage is saying that there will never come a time when Jesus says, I've had it with you. You've blown it way too many times. Verse 4 says he will never falter and he will not be discouraged and he will never give up until he has established justice on earth. So we will be beaten and bruised from time to time, but that's actually God's will for us so that our character is made stronger. Jesus Christ will not give up. He will never tire. He will never back down and he will not change his plans. He will establish justice on this earth. This is what we want, and this is what we hope for. There is coming a day when this earth will be transformed by the coming Messiah, and justice will reign over the globe. But until that day, what we need to do is behold the servant. We need to look intently into his face. As we enter into the Christmas season and the rest of the world searches, we can rest in him and know that we have already been given the perfect gift of hope. Have a great day, Willie.